In this tip of the day, let's take a look at the very powerful 1CNC chamfer machining operation. Now in this example, you can see we have a part and we have two similar chamfers, but they're at different Z levels. All right, so what I wanna focus on in this video is how we can easily apply toolpath to machine both chamfers. It's very easy to do and here's how you do that. Let's take our cursor over to the command manager, select stock toolpaths, and then we're gonna select the chamfer edge command. I'm going to take our cursor now and I'm going to select the very bottom of the chamfer. Now these arrows determine the side and the direction of the cut. Well I want a climb cut on the inside so I'm going to left click that arrow. Now I'm going to take my cursor, I'm going to left click the bottom of this chamfer. Again I want to select that arrow because I want to climb cut that as well. So we'll left click and when we're done we're going to right hand mouse click. Now in this example you can see I've already selected a chamfer tool. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds so I'm going to leave all this alone and just click next here. Our clearance and depths look great, so we're going to click next on this. Very good. And now for geometry position. Now this is very important. Now remember how we selected the very bottom of the chamfer. This is what you're going to want to do when the chamfer has already been created within the geometry. And in this case, you can see we have our solid model and the chamfers are already created, so we selected the bottom. So for geometry position, make sure that you have bottom selected. Now the easiest way to approach this is really just uncheck this auto and the z-tip is really just how far the tip of the tool goes past the chamfer. In this example I'm going to say 20 thousandths. Let's click next on that and then here's our approach and exit. I want to arc in and arc off so I'm using line arc 200 thousandths of a lead in radius at 45 degrees and same for the lead out radius. We'll click finish and that's it. Now let's go ahead and simulate this. We're going to right hand mouse click on our toolpath group, select simulate. We're going to use a solid model I created a little earlier for the stock, so we'll click OK to that. And here we go. So here's our climb cut on the inside with our chamfer tool. I'm going to turn our tool holder translucent so it's a little bit easier to look through there. Let's zoom in. That looks great. And even though these chamfers were at different Z levels, watch how one CNC is very smart. It's going to come over, arc in, very good and we're going to arc off to complete the chamfer. Very, very nice. All right, now let's take this a step further. Let's say that we need to machine 500 of these and we really don't want to have to manually deburr the outside edge or the pocket within a second operation away from the CNC. Now you can see that right now there's no chamfer created and there's really no need to create a chamfer on this. We can still deburr these edges very easily. Here's how you do that. We're going to go back into the command manager, select our chamfer edge command. I'm going to select this outside edge. We're going to climb cut. I'm going to left click that arrow. Then I'm going to hit the F3 key on the keyboard to select the rest of the geometry. Very good. I'm going to do the same thing with the pocket here. I'm going to left click. I want to climb cut. Hit the F3 key to select the rest of the geometry and then right hand mouse click. I'm going to use the exact same tool we used previously, so we'll just click next here. This all looks good, so we'll click next on that. But now, remember, we didn't pick the bottom of the chamfer, we picked the top of the chamfer. In fact, there was no chamfer geometry created at all. So what we're going to do is select normal, very good. And then here, what we want to do is specify the width. That's the width of the deburr or the little chamfer. I'm just going to say 10 thousandths on that. And if you want, you can also control your tip Z as well. Very good. So let's click next on that. Use the same exact lead in and lead out parameters. That looks very good. So we'll click finish on that. And there we go. That's it. So let's take this now into our simulator. That looks good. Use the same material for the stock. Let's speed this up a little bit. In fact, I'm going to zoom in as well. So there's our two primary chamfers. And now here comes our deburring. 10 thousandths deburr on all those edges. Very easy to accomplish and a very powerful command provided by 1CNC. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.